And we now welcome back Martin Hadcom from Prensa Latina, who joins us here in Havana. Martin, we've already seen celebrations on the streets. We are awaiting the results. This is what we expected, isn't it? Yes, that's where we all expecting. Uh, the Nicaraguan pe people have uh, thrown out uh, to the street in throngs uh, with banners, flags, chanting. Um, I'm, I'm being seen happiness all, all throughout the evening and they are awaiting for just the announcement of one more victory in the elections of the Sandinista Front. Uh, it will come out shortly and I am sure Daniel Ortega and Rosario Murillo on the Sandinista Front will have five more years uh, in government with lots of programs and plans and projects uh, to carry out. And uh, hopefully things will come out well for them despite the, an intense political and media campaign against the elections and against their government. Martin, we've been hearing from the ground people who have been witnessing this electoral process that it's been peaceful, there have not been any incidents, and that there has been a large turnout. How can we explain this huge popular support for the Sandinista government? Well, uh, it all comes from the successful social and economic programs the government has been uh, implementing throughout all these years. For instance, uh, Bluefield, the city of Bluefield, that has been ridden uh, by poverty, pover a poverty ridden town for many years, where most black population in Nicaragua lives, uh, has been developing. Uh, very soon, Bluefield will enjoy running water around the clock. Also, a deep water port is being built, and this, once the port start operating, it will change totally the uh, economic and, li and life dynamics in this region. These are examples why the Nicaraguan people in great numbers are voting for the Sandinista Front. Martin, you referred there to the attacks on this electoral process. What have been the attacks from the West, from the United States, even from the European Union? Well, that's the script that has been written and uh, drawn up by Washington is this is a farce and uh, you, if you listen or read the statements both from Washington, the European Union and other governments in Latin America, same words, same lines, same paragraphs, same statements, so it's just one more political script against the Nicaraguan government of Daniel Ortega and Rosario Murillo. And that is, in fact, the big farce in the media campaign. Martin, as you say, this is a long script, a long narrative of attacks on Nicaragua. As we are expecting another victory for the Sandinista Front, we can expect more of this, can't we? Surely. Uh, <clears throat> that's why they are attacking the elections and that's why they are attacking the government of Daniel Ortega. It's, it's one reason. I mean, they don't want the government, the Sandinista government, to stay in power. But the Nicaraguan government, in big majority, resulting and join the success of the economic social programs, want this government to go on and stay there for five more years. Martin, what do you think we can expect with this win for the Sandinista Front in terms of the next five years? Well, very hard work, first of all. Second, uh, it will be a strong political uh, battleground within Nicaragua in terms of uh, first, executive uh, work, second, administrative work, third, boosting the economy, keep boosting the economy, and second, in the international fora. Nicaragua in the past 15 years have uh, maintained, sustained a very balanced pol uh, foreign policy. They will have to continue working in the international fora following this balanced line, as well as in the uh, domestic policy, both econo economic, 
in the economic front and in the political front. Martin, we've seen some of this foreign policy in terms of the efforts for regional integration. Nicaragua, of course, is part of the ALBA alliance. And we've seen more recently in terms of the response to the COVID pandemic with uh, the historical ties of solidarity with Cuba, for example, which has provided vaccines to Nicaragua. Yes, that is one more example that I mentioned in Cathy. Uh, also, not only Nicaragua is part of the ALBA Alliance, but also it's part of SICA, which is the uh, Central American Integration System. And is, uh, its role within SICA is growing as its economy is moving up uh, steadily. So, and it's also part of all the Central American integration uh, mechanisms. And yes, and as you said, one sector in which the government of uh, Daniel Ortega and Rosario Murillo will have to work hard is on the health front. They have managed to control the pandemic, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, and also they, have, they are pushing hard the vaccination campaign. So far, according to the latest uh, stats, 65% um, of the population has been vaccinated they are still have to complete all uh, the vaccination uh, campaign for everyone in Nicaragua be um, immunized. So I think that is in the short term one of the things that they will have to work hard. Martin, you spoke to us earlier about the Sandinista Front and its history. Can you maybe recap for some of our viewers who aren't so familiar with Nicaragua and its political history, where does the Sandinista Front come from? Well, the Sandinista come from uh, a guerrilla revolutionary movement that fought the uh, bloody Somoza tyranny. They won in 1979 and they were in power until 1990 winning the election, or the first election, after the revolutionary, uh, revolutionary triumph in 1985. They lost in 1990 uh, amidst a very cruel uh, war known as the uh, Dirty Contra War that was led directly from the White House. We should all remember uh, Colonel Oliver North, whose implication and how he managed to supply weapons to the Contras, led to the Iran-Contra scandal in the United States that really hurt the administration of Ronald Reagan. Then after, the, after 16 years in the opposition, Daniel Ortega won the elections of 2006. And after a successful implementation of educational programs, health programs, social programs, economic programs, he won the re-election in 2011 with 62% of the vote. And he won again in 2016 with 72.45% of the vote. That, that is a historic uh, record in voting, uh, electoral vote in Nicaragua. Now, uh, we are expecting shortly the, the first numbers and Everybody is expecting a landslide victory by the Sindanista Front in today's elections. Martin, as you say, we're expecting a victory for the Sandinista Front. We're going to go live now to some of the images coming in from Nicaragua as people are already celebrating in the streets. <laughs> 